Welcome back to today's top spot. Today we're taking a look at two at the same time because they're by the same person. So let's get started. So today's top spot, which features two at the same time, is by another one of my favorite builders, Sir Murtek. And this is the Bell 206 Jet Ranger 3 helicopter. And what we're going to be doing is taking a look at this and then flying to his other creation that is on the top spot because I keep switching off between the two. First it's a helicopter, then it's the environment, and that is the Pine View Helicopter Environment Mod. So we're going to go find it once we check out this thing inside and out and uh, see what it looks like. So I guess let's get started. All right, so first let's open all the doors up. We're just going to like air it out. Maybe it's a little stale and stinky in there. Uh, I don't know why that would be the case, but you know, just a good excuse to open the doors. So we see the doors open really wide, so you can get in the back here. It's got seating for one, two, three, four. Four people. And uh, pretty cleanly built. Okay, let's shut this door. Let's shut this door. And then we have little doors in the front. Oh, they're so cute. They're little doors. All right, let's shut this door. And wait, is it the pilot's seat on the right? I should probably go to that door. I'm going to go over here on this side, actually. And open it back up. And click on the seat. Click on the seat. Click on click on the seat. There we go. Then shut the door. And I am in the pilot seat, right? Pilot, pilot, pilot. Yeah, look at that. I'm so smart. Okay. And it seems like a very straightforward... Well, I say that, but I'm probably going to have trouble. But it seems like a very straightforward cockpit that anyone could actually use. So we have nav lights. Anti-collision lights. Landing lights. We're not going to turn those on cabin light and nothing is turning on because there's no power for some reason oh boy did i already like not know how to turn this on uh well maybe you have to turn the engine yep hey look the engine powers everything yay okay okay that's the engine starting up i've got a oh look at that nice little jet engine powering the rotor all right now while that starts up let's go ahead and Engine flight idle. What does that mean? Engine flight idle. Is that just like to hover? Or is it like to turn the engine into idle mode? Should I click it? Let's click it. I don't know what that did. I don't know what that did. I'm going to turn it back off. Wait. I turned it on? Turn it off. What does it do? Engine temp. It gets hotter. Wow, that's weird. What does that do? It got super hot, like in two seconds. Weird, huh? I don't know. I should read the directions. Maybe. Let's do it. Okay, it says turn on switch to flight mode. So I guess we want to turn it into flight mode. And uh, take off. So let's go ahead and go up. Up arrow, up arrow, up arrow. Seems stable. Let's go up a little bit more. Just to get some altitude. Very nice. Okay, now where is the land? Landmass is over there. And we want to find south of Holt. So south of Holt. Where is Holt? I really don't remember. Holt Town. Okay, there's Holt Town. So we're going to fly over here. Just going to put a waypoint. And then we will search around for the Pine View heliport. All right, let's go ahead and go forward. Can I just hold it down, or is it going to freak? I wish I actually had a really tiny joystick. Like, I guess that would be a flight co like a controller. But I don't. But it would be so much easier to fly helicopters and planes without the giant joystick on the desktop. So, I guess we'll just keep on with the keyboard and go check this out. All right, here we go. Flying along. And I am pushing W and holding it down. And look at this pitch is stable it's not dropping it's not running into the water like i would expect if i built it <laughs> so this is a good helicopter so we are coming up on holt and it says location is south of holt town includes three parking spaces for cars somewhat fps friendly 
I was able to run at 60 frames across the board with two helicopters. Exterior light switches are on the inside of the main hangar. Includes fire suppression system and RC controlled dolly. You know, while we're waiting to arrive, let's talk about environmental mods and stormworks. Now, in my testing, there is always some type of physics being applied to environmental builds, whether it's a static or dynamic. Is that it down there? Maybe? No, that's not, that's not it. Uh, but whether it's static or, you know, a dynamic environment, there's still a frame rate hit. So see these buildings? See all of these buildings down here? Those are not being impacted by frame rate in the game. So those buildings down there, none of those that are in the environment are impacting our frame rate or our simulation. Well, but they might be impacting the frame rate if you have a poor computer. But as far as like the simulation in the game, they are not. And so the devs added something called environments, which allows you to build something in Stormworks, place it in the world, and then as you can see down there, uh, I think that is the place, that is an environmental mod, and yet, instead of being loaded, like all these buildings down here, there are physics being applied to that, that building, and the frame rate is taking a hit. Now, we might not see it, he's probably built it, you know, pretty, uh, pretty optimized, but there is no reason, in my opinion, of course, that an environment mod should impact the world in the same way that a vehicle does. We are not driving the environment, it should be loaded just like these buildings down there and we should be able to put these throughout the world and actually build out the world with 3d objects that are you know loaded into the world and we can interact with in missions and so on but it doesn't appear that that is the case it appears that these do impact the simulation and i don't know they're being treated as vehicles that don't move and you cannot load many of these or large builds into the world because they are not truly environment mods. So there you go. Another feature that needs to be fixed, I guess. I guess fixed is the right word. And uh, yeah, so there you go. One of my little angry rants about Stormworks and its feature decisions, I guess. Decisions of features, features, decisions. I don't know what you want to call Implementation, that's the word. And one of its implementations, that's what I wanted to say. Poorly implemented feature. All right, let's go ahead and land. It's starting to get dark. I thought I turned off the uh, time. But look at this thing. I am actually landing this relatively well. Look, just hover to the left or right. Oh, I'm already on the ground. I'm already on the ground. Ha <laughs> ha, so stupid. Okay, let's go ahead and get out. Oh, wrong door. This door. And uh, let's check this out. It's getting dark. Should we blink? Blink, blink! Oh, look at that. It's uh, daytime magically. Okay, so we have... Looks like a little windsock here. We've got some... Oh, look, we got weathering. That's nice. A rope. Is this like for backup starter battery? Automatic generator. Let's just turn that on for fun. And turn that on. Does it work? I don't hear anything. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, look at this garage. That looks nice, doesn't it? Look at that. Nice ceiling and everything. Um, hang your door. Oh, look. It tilts and goes up. Well, that's clever, isn't it? Does it slide back or is that it? That's it. Okay. Then let's go around this way. There's the parking spaces for the car. There is a sign. And then we have the office. And we've got lights, heating, and we've got a nice little stove here, lots of gear. Wait, I want to check out this room. Then we have a little room here for sleeping. Again, some lights. And then a bathroom with, look at that, plunger. That's cool. And then we come into the garage. And we have, I guess this is a place where you can put the helicopter on and work on it. I don't know how you get the helicopter in here or this out. Can you get this out? All right, let's see. I'm not too sure. What is that? 
Huh. Interesting. Oh, remote control. Can I, like, do something here? Oh, look at that! Oh, that's cool. Can we actually get the helicopter on there? All right. Whoops. Stop. All right. I'm going to try. You know I'm not good at this, but I want to try. I want to try. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Can I get inside? Get inside. Shut that door. Wrong door anyways. Turn it on. Just wait a second. Okay. Turn on flight mode. I might have done that a little too soon. But it's starting up. All right. Let's see if we can get it off the ground. Okay. Okay. Check this out. This is cool. I like this. Okay. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Taps. We gotta do taps here. Oh, 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 oh. Wrong, wrong button. I got confused by looking at it from the side. Okay. Back tap. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back tap. Uh, left tap. Back tap. Slam it down. Slam it down. <laughs> That'll work. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Oh, I left the door open. My mistake. Okay. So now... Does this, like... Turn on magnets or something? No, there's no magnets. What am I doing? Oh, look, there's... Wait. Oh, no, I thought there was rope hooks. I mean, these are rope hooks, right? What would I rope here? Let's go find some rope. Rope, 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 rope. Bathroom, not rope. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, no rope. Is there rope in here? I need some rope. Oh, this is cool. Oh, a little machine shop. Oh, anyways. Lights. There we go. Okay, I need rope. Why is there no rope? Shouldn't there be rope? There should be rope, right? Rope? 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 Oh, what about the hose? Can I use a hose? There was a hose back here, right? Yeah, hose. Let's strap it down. Can we do this? Oh. Wait, what do I have in my hand? Hose. Oh, you can't use that on a rope? Oh, darn it. Well, this doesn't really help me. I can't strap it. Yeah, okay. That, does, that doesn't really help. Huh. Okay, so... I don't see any rope. Oh, is there rope in the helicopter? That would be a good place to put a rope, right? Let's see. No rope! No rope? Rope on the zipper? Rope? No rope. Oh. Really? I thought for sure there'd be rope. Now well, we could, like... Tie it down, right? Because there's these little ropey things right there. And so you like rope it across. And like rope it across. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, forget that. Let's go ahead and get our helicopter back into Pineview Hellasport. Alright. Wait, what? Did I, uh oh, did I break it when I was. Oh, maybe that's a control code. Huh? All right. Oh, we can even ride on here a bit. There we go. Look at that. Oh, how cool am I? I'm so cool. All right, here we go. Inside the hangar we go. And... Ta-da. Can you turn sideways too? Oh, you can. can. Spin it around. There we go. All right, let's get off of there. And he said, where does it say the lights are on this place? There we go. Ta-da! So there you go. This is the top spot for the day. The Bell 206 Jet Ranger 3 and the Pineview Heliport by Sir Murtek. And you can download both of these in the description below. And don't forget that the Stormy Awards is coming up in October and you're going to want to go ahead and join the Reddit and upvote and suggest and maybe even submit your own build 
and then we'll have a successful Stormy Awards 2021. All right, so that is it for today. If you haven't done this already, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. This is amazing. Bye!